All right, so now we've got the my we've got my pack, which is the Mountain Hardware uh, Maestro. It's a 65 liter pack, much like my wife's. <coughs> Only this one probably cost five times as much. Um, <laughs> so it's not so much a sucker thing. The reason that it costs so much is because it has this crazy frame. Um, this is, it was, it, I mean, it's a slightly older pack. You can still find them online, and like now you can find them for a really great deal. Um, I was looking online. I think you can get them for like 180 bucks, which is just crazy, because that's like half what I paid, probably, maybe even more. Um, that's like 70% off. I think I paid almost 400 for this. Um, so, I guess I didn't pay five times what my wife paid for my wife's. But anyway, um, getting into the features of this, uh, it's a top-loading only bag. Um, I kind of talked about that in my wife's review. It has a really weird shape when you look at it and it's fully loaded. I know looking at it right now, it just kind of looks like a bag. But when you look at it, and you can see it in pictures on the internet, um, when you look at it, it has this really strange shape that's kind of wavy. And the reason that they did that is because they wanted you to have the most mobility you could with this pack. This pack is great for scrambling around and getting up to approaches and just, it's just awesome for that. And it packs way down. So you can load it up with all your gear for camping and climbing and then ditch your camping gear, set up tent, you know, set up your camp and, and pitch your tent and everything. and. Uh, then cinch all the straps way down and use it as a technical, you know, climbing pack if you want. Um, because this pack allows you so much mobility. I mean, you can sit here, load it up, cinch it down. And still turn your entire body and really get, you know, really get into the movement if you're on a climb or, you know, this thing doesn't really get in your way at all. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's not even really touching my back. It's touching right here, which I need to lower this a little bit. Yeah. I don't have it quite set up right. But um, when you sit on it, you have so much freedom of movement. And even when it's loaded up, you still have about the same level, you know, I mean, obviously if you have this thing packed way up, you don't really be able, you're not able to look around above you, so you just don't pack it that full. Um, but one of the great things about that is because it packs down so small, you can, uh, you don't need to carry a separate pack if you're going to be doing climbing. I know that sounds really obvious, but, you know, it, it's, it's a pretty cool feature to have and you don't have to pack in multiple packs. I don't know if anybody else does that. I've done it before. So anyway, um, getting back into the features of it, it's got you know a roll top and a hydration bladder pocket. Pretty standard stuff, really. Um, the 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 most important stuff about this backpack isn't really the feature set of the pack. It's the feature set of the, the harness system. So that's kind of what you're paying for when you're paying for this bag. But I mean, again, amazing, amazing. Uh, it's got, you know, um, uh, it's just got features out the wazoo as far as, you know, things that you could attach to it. It's got wand pockets. It's got, you know, you can attach skis to this thing or ice axes or hike, trekking poles. Um, you can you can take the top off and use it like a little sling bag if you're out with you know a bunch of Boy Scouts and you need to have a first aid kit with you at all times. I don't know if that rule has changed, but I remember that they always had to have a first aid kit with them. Um, so you can take this. It actually comes with a little I still have it, shoulder thing, and this detaches and you can just put it on and carry it around like a shoulder bag or a fanny pack if you really want to. Um, which is kind of neat. Again, I mean, this is kind of a gimmick, but not really. I mean, it's a useful feature. Uh, 
What else? What else? Um, again, mountain hardware, so it's pretty much bulletproof. Um, but the real big feature about this pack is definitely the frame. So it's super comfy. I mean, it's just a super comfy pack. Trying to think of if I forgot anything. Oh, oh, it's um, it's completely adjustable when you get it. Um, it's got these really neat. This thing right here is actually Velcro, and I don't want to undo it too much because it's perfect for me. It's not sized this way quite right, but it's got this adjustable panel back here, so you can just sit there and adjust that on the fly for whatever your load is. Um, obviously, I'm gonna kind of get mine. Um, but I mean, you can take these things apart and change out the way that the pack fits on that. It's just crazy, this system. I mean, it, it won awards for a reason. It's got these adjustable, you know, this is the way you adjust the load on here for your load straps. It doesn't really have anything else, but I mean, it's so good. And it's actually, if you can see this, it is an external frame pack even though it kind of retains a lot of the functionality of an internal frame pack. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Uh, just an overall stellar fitting pack. I, I mean, super technical, but if you're going to go, like, ski mountaineering, which I've never done, but, I mean, this is, like, one of the packs that you can get that's supposed to be really good for that. I use it for a variety of other things. But... At the same time, even though it excels at those other things, it doesn't detract from the fact that you can pack it full of stuff and go take it on a hiking trip. It's just a very good pack for a lot of different things. So, that's that.